My name is Patricia Brown, uh, better known as Patricia, Candle Ladies Patricia Brown. I am Jasmine Kibbett, daughter of Candle Ladies Patricia Brown, and um, um, right now all I do is just education, really. Candle Ladies are the ones who have been bringing the entertainment to the Dallas, or rather to the community in the last 10 years, and I can say I'm a proud part of that venture and uh, me and my partner Patricia Brown, we've been doing this for a little while now, so that's who we are. We, we bring the community together, everybody together. Well, I'm actually the event director, um, and I specialize mainly in marketing and sponsorship uh, programs. So that's my expose, I guess, and um, you know, I put it all together. <laughs> I'm mainly in charge of booking artists, and uh, DJs. I am probably involved by letting, helping the kind of ladies uh, group with ideas of what the kids would like since I'm one, I guess. Well, as uh, kind of ladies, uh, we all wear different hats, but my main hat is the financial part piece of it. I am the CFO of the company. I make sure everybody's getting paid on time because you know you need to get, get paid so you have a good relationship with the business partners at all times. So to me, as a, as a the CFO, you know, I play a big part to make sure everything is done on time and, you know, we have everything run up and running. I'm Dominic Condabo. Uh, some people know me as DJ Domi. Uh, Mr. Awesome. I am Awesome Nishis. Being awesome is just, it's just everything on the planet. Like, just being positive, getting it done, being the best human being you can be. And that's, that's what being awesome is all about. I am Joji Mokwasi. They call me Georgia the student, Georgia Rugby. Well, the Dallas Memorial Weekend, um, I mean, it's, a, it's a, one of the largest events, actually the largest in the Dallas-Fort uh, Worth area. Uh, this is the 13th year uh, running, and uh, we are proud to say each year the, the event has uh, gotten bigger and bigger and better. And uh, um, it, it brings uh, together uh, Kenyans from all walks of life, from all the 49 states. Texas included, and uh, we are proud to say uh, for 13 years um, in running, uh, this event is uh, one for the books. Dallas Memorial is so dear to me. Um, being an annual event whereby we get an opportunity to bring all the Kenyans together and uh, have fun, family life fun, a Kenyan festival, bringing back the Kenyan way of uh, you know, uh, festivity in one weekend, full of action. And uh, to me, is an opportunity that the U.S. government, with being a memorial weekend where we celebrate the veterans, we've dubbed that as a Kenyan memorial weekend for some they really don't know. Like I was talking to somebody in Kenya who told me, the word memorial reminds them of uh, funerals and death. But to us, it's an event, annual event, whereby we meet, we look forward for uh, to, for Kenyans to meet and uh, festive together. My role in, in the Dallas Memorial Weekend, I'm the, uh, the in, in charge of uh, marketing and event uh, operations. And, uh, you know, being as big uh, an event as it is, uh, you know, I'm proud to say I've had a strong team that's enabled me to, uh, to collaborate uh, to learn and, and to progress um, in presenting these packages uh, to the Kenyan community per se. My role has always been a sports director, sports and event coordinator, and uh, with the vast knowledge of uh, sports and uh, the vast knowledge of uh, the people that we've worked with in the corporate, uh, we try to bring them in and uh, enjoy the fruits, enjoy what we've done. At this point now, we are still working on to trying to see how corporate America can recognize us by different stuff. Basically, I support everybody that um, is putting stuff together. I, I really don't really take the lead on anything. I just kind of fill up the holes as we go along, you know? And that's, that's, that's my role right there. I make sure everything is filled up just right. 
Well, I know for the kids younger than me, we have bounce houses, face painting, um, swimming, and um, it's fun. And then for my age and up, we have pony, you can ride a pony. We are going to have games, you know, like blada and um, kati kati. Well, uh, we've been doing this 2004, and I would say 2004 is my favorite year because that's when we started doing this. And to me, there's always a first time for everything. And to me, I love entertaining people. I love bringing people together. So that moment, I mean, I was able to uh, do what I love most in 2004. And with that, that's why we are right here today because of that love, NBA love of the game, love for <laughs> entertainment and bringing people together. That's why we're here today because of the love of it. I remember the very first year Memorial was introduced, um, we basically met in a field somewhere uh, in Dallas and we had some people come play rugby. I think it was a couple of people, I don't even remember who they were, but there was uh, some teams that came and played rugby and then we had like maybe, uh, it was actually DJs that did that, we didn't have no artists, there was none of that. And we're about, about 400 people, I'd say. But now, I mean, now we actually have up to 3,000 people. It's, it's kind of hard to, to say them because they all come in all sorts of different ways. And uh, basically, being part of the organizing committee and everything, you can't really pick the, a favorite because um, most of the time, uh, we are always so busy, so tired running around to really be part of the enjoying part but then the whole thing is to make other people have fun while we get it together so really basically all of them have been fun all of them have been nice they've come in different ways and we've enjoyed them like that uh, my teammates are well fabulous fabulous great great teammates i mean uh, i can i can say dj dulo uh Patti, uh gracie dj josh dj sadat I mean, uh, those guys are just, they're, they're awesome. Ministry of Rugby, Joji, um, they, it's been quite a great team, a very great team. I wouldn't be more blessed, uh, you know, to have such a great team. Like right now, we're doing a, a soccer tournament with the Kenya DSO, Kenya, uh, Kenya Diaspora Sports Organization, which is a very big organization that we've uh, teamed up together to bring soccer, uh, to bring sports into the, the Dallas Memorial. This coming weekend, uh, the Memorial weekend, we're gonna have on Saturdays and we're gonna have kids and adults playing soccer. And you know, that's just, just a piece of what we bring in. We're thinking of bringing rugby back, thinking of bringing other sports back. And you know, when, when there's a sporting event, you know Kenyans will always come together and support. We used to organize these things and we always used to be men doing this and we never had like a, a lady's perspective of the whole thing and I think that's what really it's it's an advantage and a disadvantage in a way because you don't you only have one perspective of the whole deal you don't ever get the other perspective so when I came to start working with the Kenda ladies I actually learned another perspective of it there's a there's a tenaciousness that the ladies bring that the men don't bring you know like if you need to get stuff done men will be like, uh, okay, we need to get it done, okay, and then let's go grab some beers. On the other hand, when you have the ladies, it's like they, they push and push until you find yourself doing things you never really thought you'd get done. So I really appreciate the ladies. When we started, uh, we were several of us, but now it's just me and Patricia. We are striving to, uh, I want to say, develop the small business, okay? The small business is the backbone of this country. And whenever we have our events at the ranch, we, we encourage you know, the mom and pops, you know, uh, individuals who are wanting to get into the uh, business, you know, strive to uh, grow their business. We encourage them to come. We're kind of like a stepping stone for the future. And giving people that opportunity, I think it's, it's a very great thing. Uh, for me as well, you know, other than just being Kendall ladies, I also strive to do other things outside of Kinder Ladies with our brand to develop our brand to be a big brand in the future. Hopefully, who knows, one day maybe we'll be in the Forbes top 100, 500 maybe one day. But <laughs> to me, it's all about developing the community, 
and we all grow together because there's a lot of opportunity out there and people don't know about it until you tell them that they can do it. Um, this year is going to be very special because for one it's the 50 years of Kenyan independence and because we are first and foremost Kenyan that's what we we are proud of you know a lot of people try to make this event something else that it's not. This event started as a Kenyan event. Kenyan event by Kenyans for Kenyans. So that's one of the main reasons why we do this. And this being our 50 years of independence, I mean, it's just going to be perfect. And I'm working uh, with uh, Benson to bring the whole thing together. And we're going to have uh, people from the embassy coming down. Some delegates will be uh, there as well. Uh, we have some big people coming actually to this event, even the, the CEO of um, Equity. Um, you know, I'm glad to say that we are headed in a, in a, in a proper direction. And like I alluded to uh, last year, the year before, or the year before then, we will not stop until corporate America pays attention because the Kenyan community has grown bigger and is out to us. And we are really, really uh, you know, blessed to be bestowed with such responsibility to be able to uh, you know, uh, be uh, partial leaders in the community and to be able to package these kind of products that the Kenyan community, I'm sure, will uh, embrace. Right now, me as a George, being a father, I want to see that in the future we focus more on a family, family oriented event whereby it's about family. Yes, the nightlife will always be there, but we want to do more about the daytime events whereby our kids can come and enjoy that authenticity of Kenya. You know, feeling a lot of our kids haven't been, haven't been to Kenya. So how are they going to know our culture? What can we do to bring our culture from Kenya to here, like the way we used to go to the showgrounds, the way we used to go to the Jamori Park, the way we used to go to different places, just enjoying that Kenyan. Like I would always enjoy to go to Kenya music festivals for just enjoying the Kenyan, different cultures, bringing their music together. That's what we want to do. We want to bring these when, uh, when I retire. I want my son to be able to, to know that, oh, you know, I used to see these and that, and I, he, he could continue doing the same. For me, my passion is to educate our kids who are born here in America. Our kids to know that there's better things out there than just what America has to offer. We, we want to keep it Kenyan at the very, you know, forefront. Um, and, and really pay more attention to the, the culture itself than the artist. Because, you know, sometimes we, we're forced to go that way, you know, you end up having to bring artists from all over, you know, and all that. This year, actually, I'm so excited because we have Wire, he's Kenyan. Get your ticket, be here, be part of this big thing, you know. Without the people, we can't really pull this off, you know what I'm saying? We need the people to show up. Please just come and experience for yourself and don't be told about it. And um, that's all I can say. Just. Don't be told, don't be, don't be like, I wish I was there because it, this is going to be big. It's going to be really, really nice. And it's the only one remaining that's like this. So, you know, you only live once, show up over here and get it done. I really think that you guys should come. I mean, it's wonderful. And there's also going to be a dance competition where there's a prize for an iPad. I'm definitely going to be in that competition. Well, all I want to say is that everybody, you're welcome to the memorial event. Uh, it's going to be a good year. Uh, I want to guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. And, uh, you know, let's come out, meet each other, know each other, have fun at the same time. And, you know, we can make this happen. So I'm looking forward to seeing you and you and you in the memorial event. Cheers. <laughs>